Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, I'm just going to be showing you a pool that just added the Kapow algorithm, so you can go and mine um, Ravencoin on there, and it's very low payouts. It's 0 .0, uh, sorry, 0 0.05 Ravencoin, and you get a payout, and I believe it's every like 3 or 4 hours, something like that. So it's really good for smaller miners, you get the constant payout. And the best part is, even if you don't have a 4 gigabyte graphics card, like I do, I have one, I know it's hard to see, I'll turn the light on, there we go. I have the 4 gigabyte, I have a GTX 1650, 4 gigabyte version, and that's mining the Kapow algorithm on this pool that I'm going to show you guys. So the best part is, even though, like, for normally Ravencoin and, like, Kapow and stuff, you need a 4 gigabyte graphics card like I have here, well, I got good news for you, because on this pool, you can do 2 gigabyte graphics card, 3 whatever type of gigabyte graphics card, really. Uh, you can just refer to my other video I have just posted. I'll post in the description also on, like, the algorithms to use. But I'll also show you in this video, like, the 2 gigabyte algorithms, just in case you have those as well. But before we get started with that, I just want to thank you guys for getting over 100 subscribers on this channel. I know it may not be much, but for me it's just like a small goal. I didn't even think like 10 or 15 people would subscribe to the channel. I just kind of did this as a side thing, and I'm just happy seeing like subscribers coming on board and more people like commenting, asking questions. I try my best to answer and keep up with it. I'm still relatively new to the YouTube thing, so I'm still trying to figure out like a dedicated schedule and such. I know I only post like once every three weeks, but there's only so many tutorials, and once new things come out, that's when I kind of post, like today. This pool just added the Kapow algorithm, so here I am making a video about it. But again, just want to thank you guys. I appreciate all the support, all the likes, all the subscribing, all the comment and interaction. But let's get forward with this video so I can show you guys, like, the info about this. Alright guys, so now we're over on my computer here, and I'm just on the website of the pool. The website is zpool.ca, as you see up here. And once you load up that website, it's going to bring you to this homepage here. Alright, so once you're on the website here, what you want to do first, so at least what I recommend, is at the top here you have this row of, like, tabs you can select. And what you want to do is go to algos, which is the algorithm. And then what you want to do is select the one you want to mine. So for example, because of this tutorial, we're doing Ravencoin. So I'm just going to click on the Kapow algorithm and I'll load up that page. And I'll load up like the information for it here. And as you see here, as it has currently mining, they just added Raven like I think it was two days ago. So as you see here, it has the amount of like mega hash and profit. And then they have another coin here, S-A-T-O. I'm not sure. Sato, I think is how you pronounce. I'm not sure. I'm not going to go on my way for that. Why I'm bringing this up because it, for the algorithm, each algorithm has a certain coin and you can mine different coins. So you kind of want to check out the coins that you can mine for that algorithm. Some people obviously already know that, but I'm just talking about the people that are just getting started and such. But for this one, since Ravencoin was just added, they don't have many like blocks found. I don't even think they have any yet because they have low like mega hash power. You need like giga hash worth of power to get Ravencoin blocks going. But the other one here, Sato or whatever, as you see below here, these are the blocks that's been finding currently. And that's all that's really been mining. So what you're really going to be doing is mining on the Kapow algorithm with Sato, but then converting it to Raven. Because there is still, like, you could still get paid in Raven. It's just mining it directly is not, like, the best of luck right now because it's a fresh coin, like, on this website. So for this next part, there's two ways you can do it. As you see here, you have the stratum generator, which is going to be your configuration file for the miner. And if you need help with, like, where to put this information on your mining software, just refer to my other videos as I go more in depth with the tutorial. This is just more or less showing you guys that Kapow and Ravencoin has been added to Zpool with a very low payout, so that way it can help us smaller miners. But anyways, here, once you select your algorithm, so I selected Kapow, it's going to automatically select it in the drop down here. And then all you want to do is select what region you're in. So I'm North America uh, for that one. And then for the currency, you can select whatever one. But obviously for this tutorial, we're going to be using Raven. So I just got to find it on the list. As you see right there, RVN. And then it's going to spit out the information for you right here, like your stratum. The username is obviously going to be your wallet address, as it says there. And then the password is C equals RVN, which is just the symbol for Ravencoin. 
but what they're missing on here is kind of like a little hidden feature it's called the zap feature and what that allows you to do is mine a specific coin and then it gets paid out in whatever coin you select for the c equals part i know it sounds confusing so i'll just pull up a notepad quickly here to just like show you guys so this is what I recommend doing for now at least until some more miners get on board for direct Ravencoin. Once we get over like the giga hash power, then we'll be able to mine actual blocks. But as I was saying for the password, you have C equals RVN, which I have typed out here. And then what you want to do after is put comma, zap equals, and then SATO, which is that other coin here, as I was explaining earlier. And what this is doing, as I said, is you're directly mining for this coin, but you're getting paid out in this coin. So this can work in any of the theories. You can be paid out in Doge, you can be paid out in Bitcoin, whatever. And you can zap whatever certain coin on the algorithm. Mind you, it has to be like the matching algorithm and everything like that. But yeah, hopefully that made sense, like this password explaining right there. It's just going to allow you to do that. That's what I'm doing right now. I'll show you my wallet page. I just started mining it today when I got home. But and then I went and made this video. But anyways, I'm going to show you just another quick way to get like your stratum generator. If you just load up zpool.ca, you'll come to the home page. You can literally just scroll down and it'll all be right here as well. And then this is going to be your algorithms and everything like that. Oops, it's going to be your algorithms to select. So if I want to select that one there and then you can put your wallet address. So let's just say I have my Raven coin. Uh, I don't have that one selected. So I'll just go and get my Ravencoin address and then I'll be right back. So in the payout address here, I'll just paste my Ravencoin one. And then the currency, uh, obviously I will select Raven, so I'll scroll down and just like that. And there's all your information right there. As I said, they just leave out the zap feature, but that's something I'm letting you guys know about. So only use it in this kind of scenario if like a fresh coin's on there. And like Raven, there's no blocks, so direct mining Raven is not the best. So you might as well just try a different coin and like convert the profits. And then obviously your wallet address here has to make uh, has to match your payout coin here. So if I were to select like Doge or whatever, it would be a uh, the Doge address. And then if I wanted to do Kapow, and then I could put my Doge address and be paid out in Doge by mining the Kapow algorithm. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna quickly show you guys here. Um, there are algorithms to do with the two gigabyte ones. It's the X16R. And like I said, I also have another video that will be in the description that goes more in depth with the algorithms you can do. The X16R, this one up top here, this, I can never pronounce it, but that one can be done as well. Um, I know yes, uh, where is it? Yes, crypt, like one of these can be done as well. Vert hash can be done. There's a few of them I could go on, but like I said, I'm just showing you guys that this pool has the option for lower end graphics cards. And with the payout too, I'm just gonna quickly show you guys. I'm just gonna open up my Raven here. As you see, it has remaining until payment 0.05. So it's one of the lowest payment pools, I believe, for Ravencoin. So that's a huge plus for smaller end miners, even bigger end miners, whatever type of miners. You just don't have to have your coin sitting in a pool for a long period of time and that benefits everybody at the end of the day my pending earnings as you see i have the right amount it just has to be confirmed through the network and such obviously but yeah i know i kind of rambled a bit longer in this video but i just like explaining and making sure everybody understands because there's sometimes a lot of youtubers that skip over things or just you know have this complicated way to do things or it's like an expensive route or you have to have this and that let's be real you don't have to have the highest end technology to do this type of thing yeah it might not be huge profits but as long as you're making some money and like hydro rates for you are not like overly expensive and you have free equipment sitting around why not give it a shot with lower end but like i said i have a four gigabyte and that one's running on this one as you see down here i have the t-rex and then c equals raven and i have the zap also going on so you have all your stats on the wallet page. How you do that is just search wallet, adre uh, wallet address at the top here, and that will bring you to this page. It might take a little bit to update if you just start mining. But yeah, if you want to direct mine the Kapow algorithm for Ravencoin with this pool, it would be greatly appreciated to help get the hash power up. Once we get a little more, I'm going to switch to direct mining Ravencoin. But for now, I'm just sticking to the zap way. Again, sorry guys if I went on over explaining or too long rambling. I just want to make sure everyone has an understanding 
of mining and you know more people know more people do it the better for the crypto network but i hope you all have an amazing day and that's all i got for you guys today if you did enjoy make sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button as it helps me out and if you have any questions or need help with anything comment below either myself or someone in the community will help i've noticed that as well there's a lot of community interaction between individuals and that's always good too for the channel but like I said, I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.